Okay, so another thing that the Punnett square is really useful for is determining probabilities. Probabilities are the chances that the offspring will be born with a certain genotype, and we express them out of 100%. So I want us to look over here at the Punnett square on the right. Think of this whole square as being equal to 100%. You know that this square is broken down into four different boxes, and so that means that each box will represent a 25% probability because 100 divided by 4 is 25%. Let's do an example that applies this to a real concept. So here is the example that we did in the last video with Princess Peach and Mario, except this time we're asked, what is the probability that the child will be born with brown hair? So we're asked to see what is the percent or what is the chance that the offspring will have brown hair. First thing that you need to do is let's look at all of the potential genotypes for our offspring and count out how many have brown hair. Well, this top left one is a yes, that phenotype will have brown hair. This one, nope, that one will be blonde. This one down here, yep, they'll end up with brown hair. And this one on the bottom, nope, they'll end up with blonde hair. Okay, so now we've determined that two out of the four boxes will have brown hair. Now, in order to find the probability, we need to remember that each box represents 25%, okay? So what do we do now to find the total probability? Well, we just have to add this 25% from both of these boxes together. So 25% plus 25%, what will that equal? Well, that will equal 50%. So that means that there is a 50% chance that the offspring will be born with brown hair. Remember, this percent just means the chance or the possibility that the offspring will have that specific genotype or phenotype. 